Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nima Boa and today we're going to be reacting to a fat positive Vogue TikTok compilation. And I just want to state this. It's quite interesting because fat people, I feel, I feel shady saying fat people, but it's kind of what it is. Like obese people maybe, is, is that better? Or bigger people maybe. I'm just going to say fat people, but don't take it like as... It's not like a shady thing what I'm trying to say. <laughs> a lot of influencers, fat people influencers have been trending because they're quite woke lately and they're trying to make it seem like being fat is healthy. And it just baffles me how someone can go on a platform and make it seem like it's healthy to be fat. It's just very weird to me that someone would do that. But that's what we're going to be watching. And there's a lot of people commenting on these people. And the funny thing is, but even though it's not funny, all these fat influencers are very much cult like influencers and that promotes fatness. A lot of them are dying right now. It's so funny how all these years of studies and, and that people would just would throw that away because they don't agree with it. Even your own best that to know that you should probably lose weight because you are a little bit too overweight or you just vaguely fat. Like and Here's the thing, the way that I can weigh, I don't even know if you guys could tell, but the way that I, the, no, you cannot really tell, but the way that my body is, I don't really gain that much weight on my legs and my arms, and I'm quite tall, so when I gain weight, I've actually gained a little bit of weight here recently, but I need to be careful because my weight is just around my stomach area. So that means that all the fat is positioned around my organs and that's really, really dangerous. So I need to be careful that my fat uh, percent is not getting too high because my fat doesn't need to distribute throughout my body. So I can be literally like this. This is like my body and then I still have my skinny legs and my skinny arms. Like literally that's me. and. So I need to be careful of that. So being fat skinny, no, being skinny fat is actually, I think it's more dangerous than being fat. But yeah, it's just funny how these world people just, just likes to be hella annoying. But it's just, let's watch what they have to say. Let's see this. I wonder, would you hate your body if the world didn't? If you could go somewhere without society saying no in the form of chairs that are too small and clothes that don't fit. If you could eat without people jumping down, down your throat to assign moral value to food. If you could move without the weight of the world. Okay, so I want to say something. I don't think even though if you're plus size or big, you shouldn't be hating your body. Um, I find that if you hate your body, that's how you expose your body for more like bad things. So always love your body, but also have in mind that maybe the way that you are is not healthy and it comes with compl complications. And I, I feel crazy having to say these kind of things, but you, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's just crazy that these people do not understand what comes with it, but that definitely some people just, just hate other people because of the weight, which is also crazy. But yeah, adding whatever. to the weight of your body assuming they know the fate of your body would you hate your body if you didn't constantly hear death chorus with every swish of your hips i'd rather die than look like you you're gonna die soon they chant and they dig a person size hole based on what they think your heart looks like your heart looks like the heart of a person who deserves Will to they, feel uh, at home not at war simply because they are a person at home and not mm. at war would you hate your body if the world didn't okay so i agree with her like you still you still should get respect like she's not less of human just because she's bigger than what she is for sure, and calling her a fat pig is not right either. It's, it's crazy like when people do stuff like that, but like, don't promote it, like... Skinny is not synonyms of healthy. I am 26, and I never... Fat is not synonymous of unhealthy. I'm 26, and I exercise daily. I have... 
normal blood pressure and cholesterol. Who knew, right? Um, skinny people don't realize that fat phobia affects them too. Because guess what? Doctors will automatically assume you're healthy because you're skinny. And that's not the fucking case. That's right. People automatically assume skinny equals healthy and fat equals unhealthy. And She's guess right, what? Though. It stems from fucking fat phobia. So if a skinny person gets medically neglected, it's because they're skinny and we need to change the connotation of skinny equals healthy and fat equals unhealthy. Until skinny people can acknowledge this, we're not fucking going anywhere. And Wow, but skinny people are not saying that skinny not... She's not talking to me though. Finding equality for fat people in the fat liberation movement. We're not. Every time I, a fat woman, post a video like this, being hot is political, is rebellion, is a statement that people deserve to be seen. Seen in, in all ways, including being seen in a way where we appear desirable. Well, she's true about that. But we have actually Graham, we have all these other supermodels as well that are plus size. So we are moving in the right direction, but we cannot make it seem like, like she shouldn't be on a woman's health magazine on the front cover. And make it seem like if you are you shouldn't be on the cover of a health magazine i'm sorry but no <laughs> there are some people who don't know what hogging is so let's talk about it in talking about it, I highly recommend you look up research written by Ariane Prohaska and Janine Gailey. They have written multiple articles and book chapters about hogging and the different interactions it has on our lives and oppressive structures. So hogging is a practice in which men typically will prey on fat women and make bets with their friends about finding the fattest and most unattractive woman that they can find and having sex with her. Sometimes they will then, in the completion of having sex with her, have the entire group of men come barging in the room and they'll start honking or oinking and harassing the woman oh until God. she leaves that space. Uh, it's that guy at bars who picks up a fat girl at last call, but worse because they're actively doing it from the moment that they're sober for the purpose of embarrassing and doing harm onto that person. The secondary part of it is when men are in a sexual slump, they'll fuck fat women to get out of it. All right, let's have- That is so fucked up. That is so fucked up. I stand by that video. Because that is so fucked up. It's wild what people would do. I, it's, I don't, how do you come up with shit like that? How do you, as a guy group, come up with shit like that? I just don't get it. Maybe it's because I've never really been hanging around guy groups that I don't know, but I just don't get why. How? Yeah. How do you step up on the scale? Actually, I would like to decline being weighed today. Um, actually, uh, no must have BMI. If the doctor concludes that weighing me is medically necessary in order to prescribe medication, you can do so once my appointment has concluded and the appropriate treatment type has already been established. Otherwise, I do not consent to being weighed today. Um, okay. And if the doctor does conclude that weighing me is medically necessary, I would also like to request that my weight be communicated by number on my chart and not by BMI or weight class. And I would prefer that that number not be communicated to me in any way over the course of my visit. And that includes on my end of appointment paperwork. If your doctor specifically asks why you've made these requests, simply say this. I found that focusing on weight is more detrimental to my health and I'm no longer weighing myself. I'd like to continue this approach in the doctor's office as we focus on health independent of weight. I don't really agree with what she's saying, but overweight women that have complications by getting pregnant and this and it often has something to do with the weight because not only if you're overweight, you can also it can influence so many things. I don't I feel so weird having to say this. It's so weird having to try to state things. It's like, maybe it's just because of the way I've grown up that, guys, <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. Let's watch. I'm actually heavier than that. I'm, I'm, one, of, I'm one of the fat girls. It's almost Ooh. like, that's the joke. Weighing in a day is a fat person not interested in weight loss. Blood donation day edition. 
I forgot to fill my raisin bran and orange juice. Cheese it's salty food is recommended before donating. More water also important beforehand. First bottle done. Meatball sandwich. More water room. Blood donation fit check. More water in the car. All done. Starbucks peach green tea the size of my head. They give you a sugary snack after fish, potato, and Caesar salad. Blueberry macaroni cake from short and sweet bakery. Vitamins plus finished second bottle of water but I have lipstick on long. So I forgot to respond to this video, but it's absolutely crazy. This lady is trying to prove us wrong, saying that she, she's fat and she's still healthy because she's a blood donor. But we all know that when you're a blood donor, you don't just get blood taken out for them to be injected in someone else. There's a whole process of the blood. So it doesn't really matter if you're fat when it comes to being a blood donor. It's just crazy why she's... <laughs> That is what she's trying to tell with this video and I totally forgot, forgot to comment on it, but it's just absolutely crazy. I still cannot believe what I'm watching. I am aware. Okay, I'm jumping in on the question of the hour. Is it fat phobic to not want yourself to be fat? The biggest defense of that argument is like, what, why is it a problem for me to have a preference about the way that my body looks? So I think this is a twofold thing. First of all, preferences don't exist in a vacuum. The reason that you would prefer to have a thin body is because of society's fat phobia. Duh. That is not an isolated thought. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe it's just because someone has complications going up the stairs, someone has complications with a lot of things that comes with being fat. It has nothing to do with society. Not everything has to do with society though. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like medically proven that being overweight, that comes so many obstacles being weight, overweight. And then we have people like her that was, that was trying to say the opposite. Just, that okay. you came up with. So yeah, it is your preference, but do some critical thinking. Where did that come from? And two, I think that's a super Complex. bogus and lazy way to like write off this whole conversation. Because if people really started to question, why do we think this way? And why do we value thinness so much? It would cause everyone to have to get more involved with fat liberation. And they just don't want to. <laughs> what? How's that fat phobic? Oh. She's right. What she does with her body is none of our business, but trying to promote that it's healthy is also wrong because it's not. Told me I was awful and that shit did not faze me Tell me how I suck it in my memory is hazy You're my favorite rapper now, yeah, dude, I better be Today there are walls and walls and walls of triple zero and double zero and zero and two and four jeans and literally nothing else. You probably think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not, so I'll show you. And the employee just told me that since they started getting triple zero in, they've stopped getting in like 16s, 18s, and 20s. So let's take a look. Since finding out they had plus sizes, I have been wearing American Eagle jeans exclusively for two years. They fit incredibly. Bottom shelf. Fours. Twos. Fours. Fat people deserve to shop in store too. I want answers. But 
but she's right though, even though it should be close to that size and it shouldn't be like a t-shirt with a pineapple on it. There should be some unique clothes for, for plus size people as well. I totally agree with that. I do agree with that. And now, over to Susan. She's lost her lovely two pounds this week. Well done, Susan, love. Thanks. It's it. And Susan's one of our oldest members here at group. And what a remarkable journey that you've had. Yep. A few ups and downs, but you got there in the end. Yes, and looking at all your details he, here. Um... In total over the five years you, you've been here, you've gained a stone and a half. Yep. Get the fuck out of my group, Linda. You go, girl. And the joke is in Okay, guys, so that was the compilation. There are some interesting things that people say. It seems like nothing amazes me anymore, and then at the same time, I see something, and then I'm just like, what the fuck? And then I have to try to explain something that's just so, it's just known facts and a standard globally, and then having to explain that is so hard, so I think it's weird. I just personally feel like, if you want to be plus size or you want to be of a bigger size, you do that. It's not my business, but trying to promote something like that as being healthy and and stuff like that is, is wild. I'm not saying just because you're fat or plus size doesn't mean that you're one cheeseburger away from having a heart attack. I'm not saying that or one burger from being 10 feet under the ground. I'm not saying that either, but trying to promote it as is if it's healthy and having like the biggest plus size model on the cover of a health magazine, I don't agree with that at all. But I do that is feel like that should be included when it comes to like runway shows and like getting more now and and beauty campaigns and all of that. Like, of course, there should be a part of it because there are going to be people, regardless if you agree with them or not, that they're healthy or not. There are some people that's gonna be fat and they like being fat and that's what it is and it's none of my business business or your business to be commenting on that. But there's just certain BLs that I just do not want to see them being the spokesperson or having any kind of influence because we need to also think about what makes that sense out as well. So yeah, that's what I feel about it. What do you guys think? Let me know. I always like to hear your opinion and this is and that was it for this video for today. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.